Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me at flurn.com where we make learning fun. Today we're going to show you how to take the style from one image and apply it to your photographs automatically in Photoshop. In my opinion, this is probably the fastest and easiest way to give your images an artistic touch for applications where you want to make your photographs look like fine art. So here's our sample image for today. We're going to just click right here on our background and go up to filter and down to neural filters. Now these filters use artificial intelligence to actually apply styles to your photographs. Now we're going to go over here to style transfer. Let's go ahead and turn it on and you're going to see we have some featured styles right here on the left. I'm just going to hit fit screen real quick. We're going to move that right over there so we can see our image. And here you can just simply choose from the different styles that are preloaded with Photoshop. So clicking through them is really as simple as that. Simply click on them and we do have the option to show more. So we'll click there and we can see it loads a few more styles. I really like this wave painting here and we can see it does a really cool job applying that to our photos. Now, at this moment, there is no way to bring in your own styled images. So if you had a favorite painting and you wanted to add it as a style and have your images interpreted that way, unfortunately, they don't have that support yet, but hopefully they're going to add that. Let's go ahead and see what we do have. So I really like this wave effect. Obviously, you can see clicking through things, you have all these different types of effects like a you know, crackle, things like that. Now, one thing that I do find pretty helpful because, you know, like I chose the like red lava cracks here. Uh, let's say you don't want the color from the red lava cracks. You can scroll right down here and simply click on preserve color. So if I click on that, you're still going to get the style of the red lava, which is pretty cool, but you're going to get the color of the original image. Now you do have the option to choose multiple passes, which is basically going to make the effect stronger and stronger. And in my experimenting, some images just simply work better than others and some styles work better than others. Like it, this is not something I would necessarily uh, want to publish, but in this case with this wave image, uh, this is actually pretty cool. Once it applies, you can see, yeah, that's like actually really awesome. I would see like a greeting card, something like that, just something, you know, friends and family oriented. Really, really cool style. So let's go down here. We do have a few more options that I really like. You have the option for style opacity. So I can bring the opacity down just a little bit and it's gonna show some of my original image plus some of the style that we've added. You can increase the detail if you'd like. So let's go ahead and add a little bit more detail in there. Perfect. And I'm gonna turn off preserve color, which is gonna bring in more of this original color from the actual art print, giving it that like, like kind of cool green color. But because I can change my opacity here, I can choose a really nice mid ground to find the actual mix that I like. And I kind of like this, you know, a little bit more of a vintage style image. You can do things like increase the brightness overall of this effect, and you can increase the saturation. So let's go ahead and turn on our saturation and we're gonna slide that up just a little bit. Now we do have options for focusing in on our subject and adding a background blur. Let's see how those work. If I go ahead and click on background blur, I'm just gonna bring this up a little bit more. Now you're gonna see up here on the top right, it is loading this image. This is actually being processed in the cloud and then sent back to my local machine here. And with this background blur, we do lose a bit of the effect. My subject is in focus, but the background's not. It does exactly what it says, but I actually like it a little bit better off. That way I get the same type of effect throughout the entire image, as you can see here, much more clear and clean. Now, focus subject, let's go ahead and click on that and see how this works. This is gonna use artificial intelligence, again, to try to find your subject. It's gonna put a little bit more detail on your subject and remove some of the detail from the background. But overall, I gotta say, I am really impressed with this filter. It's so fun and easy to use. You can output this to a new layer. Let's just click right here for our preview to see our before and after. So this is our before and here is the after. I mean, just a couple of clicks away and I really love this image. Now you can output this to a new layer, smart filter, a duplicate layer. We're just gonna go to new layer and hit okay. Fantastic. And here we can see we have a brand new layer right on our background that I can just turn this off and on. And you can do this as many times as you'd like. You can just click on your background again, apply a different style and then see what you like better. Let's go ahead and do another one real quick.
So in this case, we'll turn on style transfer. I really like this image. I think it's one of Van Gogh's paintings. It has really cool detail and almost makes it look like an oil painting throughout the entire photograph. What a cool effect. Now, the sky is a little bit boring now, but you could just crop that in and you'd have a really, really cool image. We're just gonna go down here and increase the amount of passes. And as I zoom in here, you're gonna see it's gonna increase the amount of detail in this image in real time. Fantastic. I'm just going to bring our style opacity down just a little bit and that's going to add some of the original color back to my image. There you can see it and we have a really nice beautiful mid-ground. I think that looks great. Let's apply that to a new layer and here we go. It just put out this style. Look at this amazing detail all the way up here. It really does look like an oil painting and it's so cool that we can have a few different styles and just kind of choose between them which one we'd like. Of course, we can publish a few. Now, I haven't really seen anything come across the way in terms of AI that does this good of a job at applying an artistic style to a photograph. This is the first time I think like, oh, I actually might use this. It's actually really cool and I can see a variety of applications. But what do you think? Is this something that excites you or you're like old school, no thank you, I'll do it manually, not interested? I'd love to know in a comment right down below. If you're looking for more free Photoshop tutorials, go ahead and hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. We'll send you one every single week. Thanks again. I'll flirt you later. Bye everyone.